Hello guys, so today we're going to be building the Union Pacific AC6000CW in Minecraft. Now this is a request by Brandon Forums 2021 so shout out to them for making the tutorial possible. And this is a very new detailed train, um, so uh, this is what it looks like. And it also is the first GE locomotive to actually have a sticking out um, front fence thing. Um, this one was actually the first actual locomotive at all to have this sticking out, which is the San Elko um, M636. Now, this won't be coming out anytime soon because it wasn't a request, but if somebody requests it, then it will come out soon. But anyway, let's get started on the Union Pacific. So, we're going to grab the um, stone brick stairs, or stone stairs actually, uh, cyan terracotta. And that's all for now. We'll get the rest later. And we're gonna add three uh, stone stairs. And we're gonna add a cyan terracotta in the middle. And we're gonna make it so it's 34 blocks long. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. And on the back, we're gonna make it a two by three. I mean, two by three of cyan terracotta, and one on the top corners. And then we're gonna add an upside down stone stairs down here like that. And we're also gonna do that on the front. And above these um, stone stairs on the sides, we're gonna add more upside down ones facing toward the front. And then make sure it's only this middle block here. And then we're going to add blocks behind, and one in the middle as well. And we're going to do that on the other side, so it's like a T-shape. And then we're going to add two on the top, like that, behind here, for a little wall. And we're going to add upside down stone stairs. And now we're going to add a cyan terracotta in the middle, leaving a block from that little wall, like that. And then we're going to leave two blocks, and add another. And then leave two blocks again, and add another, like that. And uh, now we're going to grab this stone brick wall, and we're going to add cyan terracotta sticking out. Um, on the sides of where that middle cyan terracotta is. And then between all these gaps, we're going to add stone brick wall. And one behind there as well. And now we're going to fill this in with cyan terracotta. And it should be 10 blocks long. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Like that. And now we're going to make this 10 block wide thing, um, 2 blocks tall, so add one underneath in the middle here, like that. And uh, let's do the left tank on the left side, or the fuel tank on the left side, sorry, I said that wrong. So we're going to add upside down stone stairs underneath here, on both sides. And on the right side, it's just going to be filled in with a stone slab it's very simple um and we're also gonna grab the stone stairs and make this very front one uh stone stairs facing toward the back so so like that little wall so the bell can go there and now we're gonna do the fuel tank it's a bit strange like that so we're gonna add stone slabs on the sides and then upside down stone stairs on their sides. And they're going to add two upside down stone stairs on the sides. And then more stone stairs facing into each other like that. And uh, now there's also another detail we can do. So we're going to grab the acacia stairs and the sand terracotta. And above this um, entire thing we're going to add some cyan terracotta 
um, eight blocks long in the middle of this fuel tank. And, uh, then behind it, we're going to add three yellow concrete. And, uh, on the front of it, we're actually not going to add anything. Um, we don't need to. And now we're going to add upside down acacia stairs at that end. And on this end, we're going to add a regular facing one like that. And then in between all of here, we're going to add upper acacia slabs. So, the stripe kind of, that little red stripe just uh, kind of sticks out a bit, um, if you know what I mean. And then we're going to add four more going back like that. Then a stone slab, acacia slab, and then two stone slabs, and then two acacia slabs. And it should go to the back like that. And, uh, we're actually going to add two acacia slabs on the right side from the back. Two stone slabs, an acacia slab, a stone slab, and that's all we're going to add for now. Or, actually, we're going to add nine acacia slabs going toward the front. So, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, it should be like that. And, uh... Then we're going to add an oak stairs. And then we're going to add a acacia slab in there, like that. And an upper oak slab, like that. And uh, that's a lot of detail. Uh, and after that, we're going to grab the birch fence gate. And the acacia fence gate, or the acacia fence gate, and we're gonna add an open acacia fence gate into the middle block, and an open birch fence gate into the other block, like that. And uh, now we're gonna add a stone slab on that cyan terracotta, like that, and underneath the stone slab, a sideways dark oak fence gate. And on the sides, we're gonna add more open dark oak fence gates, like that. And now we're going to add a acacia slab T-shape, like that. And behind that acacia slab T-shape there, we're going to add uh, three stone slabs, like that. And then we're going to add spruce fence gate in all these empty blocks, like that. And let's work on the wheels now. So. We're going to grab the gray concrete and add gray concrete on those cyan terracottas on the sides, like that. And now we're going to grab the spruce fence gate, and in between all this, we're going to add spruce fence gate. And I'm just going to add it like that in there as well. It actually should be opened into here like that, but... You can't even see it because it's covered up by the wheels, so I'm just going to let it be like that. And now we're going to add uh, hoppers on the gray concrete, like that, so it's like this. And, uh... Now we're going to add stone stairs on those gray concrete, like that. And then we're going to add upside down stone stairs on the sides, like that. Once we add those upside down stairs on these other stone stairs, uh, there's a detail we gotta do on the back on both sides. And then we're gonna add stone slabs on all those uh, 
stone stairs like that for the wheels. And uh, on the back, the middle ones are going to be stone stairs like that. And once that's done, we're actually going to grab the acacia slab. And we're just going to add a T-shape on the back, sticking out like that. And then a sideways C-shape on the stone slab, like that. And then we're going to add smooth quartz slabs here, like that, for uh, a little stair wall. Whatever you call it. And then we're going to add daylight detectors in all these uh, blocks, like that. And don't right click them, just leave them alone. You can right click them if you want for a better design, but I just leave it alone. It actually does look kind of cool that way, but I'm leaving it alone. You do whatever you want. Um, now we're going to add the back details. So we're going to add tripwire hooks on the sides there. And a stone slab in the middle. And then underneath that stone slab, add a sideways spruce fence gate and open spruce fence gates on the sides like that and then we're going to add birch buttons on the sides as well as well like that and now we're going to add bells and we're going to add one on that stone stairs so you replaced so that the bell can actually be placed and then we're going to grab the end rod and add end rods on the sides there on the um, front and then birch fences on those side cyan terracottas like that and on the back we're going to add three and two on the side here on both sides and then we're going to add two more up here on both sides stacking upwards like that so I placed it there and then on the back we're gonna add open birch fence gates like that and uh, once we add those open birch fence gates we're gonna add another brick slabs or stairs and chains and we're gonna add two nether brick slabs or fences on the sides like that and a chain in the middle on the front and the back like that And uh, that's it for the bottom for now until we get to the debug stick details. Um, oh, let's grab the smooth quartz block and item frame. And on those fence gates on the front, we're going to add item frames. And in the item frame, smooth quartz block. And later on the tutorial, or later on in the tutorial, we're going to add birch buttons there, like that. So now we're going to grab the oak door. And on this very soon slab on the right, we're going to add an oak door. Um, you can make it facing whichever direction you want, but I want the doorknob to be facing to the right. And now we're going to fill the rest of the bomb row in with uh, yellow concrete. And uh, now is when you want to be careful. We're going to add a TNT right here. And this train contains a lot of buttons, so be careful when you're building this, because you might accidentally explode the TNT. Now everywhere else you're going to add yellow concrete, like that. Now behind the door, like that, we're going to add black concrete. So if you open the door, it's just black concrete. And now we're going to add a warped button on the TNT, like that. And above, we're going to add a cyan terracotta and a smooth quartz block and an item frame. And we're going to add a smooth quartz block in an item frame like that on the cyan terracotta. And then a birch button on there like that. Um, so we're going to grab oak stairs and add it on the sides like that. And on this uh, cyan terracotta, we're going to add a oak trap door. And you know what? I'm just going to type in a um, command so that 
if I do, uh, accidentally explode the TNT, it won't do anything. Um, so I'm doing this now, and I'm sorry I'm not doing the tutorial, but see if I explode that TNT. Oh, it didn't fix it. Oh well, I'll fix it later. Anyway, let's add the oak slab on the sides, like that. And then on those two blocks, we're gonna add open oak fence gates for the little, uh, a little ladder, like that. Um, and now we're gonna grab the dark oak sign and the white die, and we're gonna add our Union Pacific AC6000 CW number. I chose a 7000, but you guys can choose whatever you want. So just press enter and then type in your number. And this is actually the letter scheme, so it may not be the same as in a uh, flag scheme now. And on the left side, we're going to add a birch button on the top here, like that. And on the right side, we're just going to leave it alone. We're going to add two yellow concrete on the sides, like that. And oak stairs on the sides, like that. And yellow concrete in the middle. And we're going to add a gray stained glass pane in the middle for detail. And then oak buttons on the sides, like that. And one behind that birch button. And underneath the oak button that we placed beside the birch button, we're going to add a birch sign, but don't type in anything in it. It's just a... A big detail and now we're gonna add a four by three of yellow concrete four blocks long three blocks tall and we're gonna add two ladders on the bottom middle block with oak buttons on the sides and now we're gonna add acacia buttons on the sides like that and acacia signs in the middle, like that. And now we're gonna grab the cyan terracotta and add a two by three in there, like that. And uh, let's grab the yellow concrete and the bedrock. And let's add a yellow concrete, a bedrock, and about, about eight yellow concrete, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're gonna add two more rows of yellow concrete. And uh, now let's grab the acacia sign and acacia button. And add an acacia button, two acacia signs, and an acacia button. Again, don't type anything in these signs, they're for the numbers. And uh, once that's done, we're going to add a ladder next to this bedrock, close to the front, like that. And behind the bedrock, we're going to add an oak button, like that. And above this bedrock, we're going to add a polished blackstone button. And above the ladder, another oak button. And now we're going to add a stone button next to that acacia button for the numbers. Then underneath a birch button, and then a stone button again. Um, next to the stone button, we're gonna add another acacia button. Leave a block, acacia button. Leave a block, another acacia button. And then above those acacia buttons, everywhere we're gonna add oak buttons, like that. And then above the, uh, or behind here, we're gonna add three sandstone walls, like that. And now we're going to add two chains above that oak slab. And another above the sandstone wall. And a sideways one right here, like that. And uh, above that very behind a uh, acacia button, we're going to add a cyan terracotta. Like, on the back. And another one there. And we're going to add yellow concrete going in those blocks behind there and uh, we're actually gonna make this front 
three cyan terracotta, yellow concrete, and make those three cyan terracotta. And then those two in the middle will be changed to a cyan terracotta. And we'll add another so that um, this gray stained glass pane looks like that. And we're going to add two black stained glass blocks on the side. And black stained glass pane over there like that. And then on the front, black stained glass pane, add an open birch fence gate. And let's add a 3x4 of sand terracotta, 3 blocks wide and 4 blocks long. And on the sides, we're going to add stone stairs. And now we're going to add a light gray stained glass pane on that back cyan terracotta on the right side. And that front black stained glass pane is also going to have one. And these front two stone stairs are going to have spruce trap doors. And on the left side, the middle two are going to have spruce trap doors. And they're going to have two sticking out of those blocks for the windshield there, like that. And if you open them, they're not really like windshields. I didn't really try, but if you want, you could actually make them like windshields. But if you do do it quick, because we have to add a gray stained glass pane in the middle there as well. And now we're going to add a stone button in the middle. And diagonal here, we're going to add two sideways ones. And this back one's also going to have a sideways stone button, like that. And now we're going to add five yellow t er, concrete. Um, if I say terracotta, I mean concrete. Um, and then we'll add five oak slabs above the yellow concrete like that and this very back yellow concrete next to the acacia stair is gonna be an oak trap door like that and next to the oak trap door we're gonna have an oak button and leave a block another oak button and uh, once that's done we're gonna grab the end rod and add end rods on those side stone slabs like that and we're gonna grab the yellow concrete and we're gonna go to this middle yellow concrete on the back and make it two blocks tall and we're gonna add a two block tall row going all the way back to there like that and we're also gonna add another yellow concrete in that middle block and then fill in Two more blocks with a uh, little concrete, and then add another two like that. And then we're gonna add two bedrock, and then add yellow concrete in the middle until we get to the end of this block. And actually, the very end one is also gonna be removed like that. And we're gonna add one up here like that. Um. So this is what it should look like. Um, now we're going to add an upper stone slab right here, like that. Leave a block, another stone slab. Leave two blocks. A spruce trap door on the sides of the bedrock, like that. And then stone slab until we get to the end of there. Now we're going to add two cyan terracotta, like that. And then we're going to add bedrock and all those empty blocks, like that. And these four are also going to have bedrock. And then one cyan terracotta here, and two here, like that. And this middle row is going to be um, cyan terracotta until we get to here. And now we're going to grab the bedrock, and these two middle ones are also going to be bedrock. And now, we're going to add a stone stairs upside down there, and an upside down one there, like that shape. And add that shape again with right side up stairs, so it's like that. And then upper stone slabs everywhere else, and we'll just add a yellow concrete in all those gaps, like that. And we're going to add on the ends, cyan terracotta, and then three bedrock in the middle. 
And now we're gonna add gray carpet above those three bedrocks. And then make that three by three of gray carpet. Add another row in front. And then on the middle and left side, we're gonna add a gray carpet behind there. And then spruce trap door everywhere else for that detail. And on the left side, these two stone or sand terracottas are now gonna have stone buttons like that. And now we're gonna grab the oak trap door. And on these uh, two yellow concretes underneath these cyan terracottas, we're gonna add open oak trap doors like that. And uh, now we're actually gonna do the Union Pacific Letters logo. So we're gonna grab the acacia sign and acacia button. And you see how there's this curved be in bedrock thing with spruce trap doors on the side? Well, this very back spruce trap door is going to have an acacia sign, but don't type anything in it. And then add three more acacia signs, and then an acacia button, and then three acacia signs, like that. And it should connect to those oak trap doors, like that. And now, we're going to grab the oak button, and on this block, an oak button, leave a block, two oak buttons, Leave a block, an oak button. Leave a block, oak button. And we're gonna add, in these three blocks, oak buttons. And next to the logo, we're gonna add a birch button, like that. And add birch buttons on all those bottom bedrocks, like that. And now all that should be done. Um, now we're gonna grab the, uh, yellow concrete and we're gonna add three behind that red sandstone wall one all around that um acacia slab above behind and like literally everywhere now we're gonna add an upper acacia slab here and behind there a yellow concrete and then we're gonna add uh behind that um I don't know how to explain this. Uh, go to the end of the fuel tank here, to the back, and then add a yellow concrete up here, and fill all that in with more yellow concrete, and make that three blocks tall, like that. And then all the way, we're gonna add upper stone slabs, like that. And then we're gonna add two cyan terracotta, and then two yellow concrete underneath and one on the bottom there, like that. And one curving inwards there, like that. And now we're gonna grab the acacia sign and the acacia button and add two acacia signs, like that. And then an acacia button and then add three acacia signs. And now those uh, two yellow concretes underneath the cyan terracotta will have open oak trap doors, like that. And now we're actually going to grab the oak button, and next to this uh, chain, we're going to add an oak button. And leave two blocks, add an oak button, and that should be it. Now there's a detail we're going to add. So we're going to grab the stone stairs and add three behind there, like that. And then an oak shape, or an O shape of stone slabs. And then this block is going to be a stone stairs facing to the back. And then we're going to make that back to back stairs with stone slabs on the sides. And stone stairs curving into there like that. And then a cyan terracotta with a spruce trap door above. And then three stone slabs like that. And we're gonna add a dark oak fence gate, like that. And uh, that should be uh, this part, like that. And uh, now we're actually gonna work on the vent. So we're gonna grab the bedrock and add two bedrock there. And then that last remaining block will be a nether brick slab, like that.
And now on those two sand terracottas on both sides, add stone brick walls. And above the stone brick walls, we're going to add spruce trap doors, like that. Then we're going to add stone stairs on the sides. And then two sand terracotta in the middle with two spruce trap doors above. And yeah, this train has a lot of spruce trap doors. Uh, now let's actually work on this big back part. So we're going to grab the yellow concrete and the oak stairs. And we're going to add two yellow concrete and oak stairs. And then we're going to add a yellow concrete with an upside down oak stairs sticking out. And then above, cyan terracotta with a grey stained glass pane. And now in that cyan terracotta, we're going to add it connecting all the way to that part, like that. And then uh, spruce trap doors everywhere above there. And now we're going to add a bedrock in this block and then two right there and then one on the bottom and then leave a block add two with one on the top there and three behind here a yellow concrete and a bedrock and then three behind there like that now it's add a yellow concrete there and two behind here like that and now let's add one right here sticking out and another one there. Not really sticking out, just like that. And add one there as well. And then fill the rest of up here with it, um, the yellow concrete. Um, just for stuff. And now we're gonna add two stone slabs on the side of that um, oak stairs. And one stone slab on those sides. Now let's add stone stairs. There, like that. And then we're gonna fill this top part with uh, stone slabs. Connecting all the way to these two spruce trap doors there. And then we're gonna add a stone brick stairs in here, for real. And then we're going to fill the rest in with nether brick stairs. And now what we're going to do, we're going to grab the nether brick wall and add the nether brick wall in those blocks, like that. And we're going to fill this very row here with yellow concrete, like that. And we're going to, um... We're going to work on the vent on the left side, actually. So we're going to grab the nether brick slab and add one up here, like that. And we're actually going to grab the uh, oak stairs and the sandstone wall. And add oak stairs right there. And then a sandstone wall. And then we're going to add another brick slab. And this next detail is actually inspired by Crafty Fox. So uh, shout out to him for the next detail. Um, and just credit to him, actually, for this detail. So we're going to add an oak stairs here. An oak trap door facing another, there. And an upside down oak stairs. Yeah, that's it. And we're going to add it again, right here. And we're also going to do it on the other side right here, like that. And then we're just going to add three yellow concrete. And then we're going to add a 2x2 two two bedrock one on the top, and then another 2x2. Two two, and a yellow concrete in the middle with one right there and one there. And we're going to add another brick slabs everywhere else and a birch button in the middle and another one in that block and underneath that birch button you gotta add an oak button like that and now we're gonna grab the oak stairs and add a sideways one on the sides like that 
And we're gonna add another upside down one here on uh, both sides. And then we're gonna add two upside down nether brick stairs. An upside down oak stairs. And then three upside down nether brick stairs. And uh, that's a lot of the detail done. Uh, in fact, I think most of what's left is just the uh, debug stick stuff and the uh, uh, railing. Um, like, we're literally almost done. Um, this was a very detailed train. It took me a while to make. Um, we're gonna add a yellow banner on those upside down oak stairs on both sides. And now let's grab the smooth quartz block and the item frame. And on this upside down oak stairs, we're gonna add an item frame and a smooth quartz block like that. And I think that's actually most of uh, the train without debug sticks. Um, we're gonna do the railing still, so we're just gonna grab the white carpet. And above these birch um, fences, we're gonna add white carpet. And we're gonna grab the nether brick fence, string, um, gray carpet, and stone stairs. And uh, now we're gonna add. Uh, Two nether brick fences behind this birch fence, and then leave a block, two nether brick fence, and keep leaving a block and adding two nether brick fence, and stop right at the uh, sandstone wall here, we're going to add two there, and these front two should be left alone, but this one's going to have uh, another another brick fence so it's three tall and now we're gonna add string in between all these others and add the string everywhere and then we're gonna fill all this in with a gray carpet and uh, this one also is gonna have a gray carpet and add another toward the front and then we're gonna add a stone stairs and uh, a block diagonal up, we're gonna add another stone stairs. And we're gonna add two nether brick fences behind there, like that. Then we're gonna leave a block, add two, leave a block, and add another two. And they're gonna add string in between all there, and two behind here. And we're just gonna add gray carpet everywhere here, like that. And now we're actually going to go to the left side for the railing. And we're going to want to grab the dark oak fence and the spruce trap door. And the railing is quite a bit different um, because of this part. Um, this part has a lot of, uh, the stripe is different, so the railing is also different. So we're going to add two nether brick fence behind the uh, birch fence. And we're going to add one on this first slab here, from the back, and another above. Kind of lining up with this weird spruce trapdoor thing on the top. And then we're going to leave a block in between here. We're going to keep leaving blocks and adding other brick fences everywhere, like that. And then we're going to leave two blocks and add a, two dark oak fences and two nether brick fences. And leave two blocks and add two nether brick fences with two dark oak fences right up there like that. And then nether brick fences. Leave a block, two. And then we're going to add uh, stone stairs in that one block like that. Sorry about that. And you see these two right here? Um, right by the end of the fuel tank. And we're going to add a upper spruce trap door in between those, and ones like that, all the way to that um, stone stairs. And they're going to add string in between all of here, like that. And then we're going to fill all that in with gray carpet and that spruce trap door. 
I got rid of it. That's okay. I was gonna get rid of it anyway. And they're gonna add string between all of that, like that. And gray carpet everywhere else. And uh, we also have to do the door banner, which I'll show you how to make right quick. So we're gonna grab the loom, uh, the black banner, the gray die, and the yellow die. And we're gonna add a gray border, like that. And then the uh, yellow perfess inverted, like that. And we're gonna add the door banner on those sides, like that. And uh, if you're not doing the debug sticks, then that should be it for the tutorial. So if you're not do using the debug stick, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Um, but if you're not using, if you are using the debug stick, or you have it and you want to use it. Uh, then, uh, you're going to want to grab the debug stick, which you'll get by slash give, at s, debug, and then press tab, so you can get the debug stick. And then you're going to grab the birch button, oak button, uh, stone button, acacia button, um, and that's actually it for the debug stick, I think. Yeah, that's it. So we're gonna go to the back, and you see this, uh, item frame here? Oh, we're also gonna wanna grab any block of our choice. And we're gonna get the birch button on that, um, item frame, like that. And we're also gonna wanna grab the, uh, birch button. And on this sandstone wall, we're going to get a birch button there. On this stairs here, and that another brick slab. We're going to add the birch buttons there. And on that one stairs there, we're also going to add a cyan terracotta. And now on this stairs here, and that slab, we're going to add birch buttons. And on this slab, we're going to add the, uh, stone button. And, um, this slab is also going to have an oak button. Oof. That's not good. And, uh, now you see these oak buttons on the bottom there? Well, lining up on these slabs, we're going to add the oak buttons there, like that. Uh, what else? On these three stone slabs here, underneath the bedrocks, we're going to add birch buttons, like that. And, uh... Let's see, on this very end stone slab for uh, the fuel tank, we're going to add birch buttons. We're going to add the birch button like that. And on this uh, oak slab here, like that, we're going to add a acacia button. And on the stone slab for the fuel tank here, we're also going to add an acacia button. And on this block, underneath this uh, sandstone wall area, on the slab underneath there, we're going to add a stone button next to that acacia button. Um, it's hard to explain. Um, now we're going to get a stone button on that daylight detector like that. And a stone button on the slab next to the bell, like that. And on all these stairs, we're going to add stone buttons, like that. For, uh... Details, like that. And we're also going to add on this very daylight detector on the back. And, uh, we're also going to add one on that slab there. 
And these three stairs are also gonna get stone buttons. And uh, that was the right side. On the left side, I actually didn't do much. Um, on the front, this daylight detector is actually gonna get a stone button. And if you want, you can actually fill in there as well. I'm not gonna do it because I'm kind of lazy too, but you should. Um, that back slab here is also gonna add. We're also gonna add a stone button, and all these stairs here are gonna add stone buttons like that. And. For the last few details, you see that stone slab there, the first one of the fuel tank. Or this actually isn't the last detail, but we're gonna add a stone button there as well. And then we're gonna add a birch button on those stairs, like that. And now these front three oak buttons, just that one, that one, and that one. On those ones, we're gonna add oak buttons. Um, this very back one doesn't need to get that. And, uh, now we're gonna get a birch button on that stone slab, like that. Uh, and, uh, actually I think that's it because I don't see any more details. Oh wait, no it's not it. There's something else we gotta do. It's on the front. Um, on that item frame there, we need to get a birch button, and on the stair next to it, we also gotta get a birch button there, and we'll do that on the other side as well. This item frame will get a birch button, and that stair there will also get one, and now I think that's it for the tutorial, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, for real this time, because, uh, the video is over and there's nothing else to do. So I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Shout out to Brandon Forums for making the train tutorial possible. So yeah, in the next one, which should be out tomorrow. Bye.